warmed up with some body weight squats. So we're going in with 20 body weight squats. So you want your knees just past shoulder width apart and go down as low as possible. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feel a nice stretch in your glutes. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next, for, for our next part of the warm up, we're going to do some lunges. We're going to do curtsy lunges, lunges. So we want to do 15 on each leg. We're going to do this three times. So for curtsy lunges, you want to put your back foot a little bit behind your front foot. So you get that nice big stretch in your glute. So let's go. One, two, get nice and low. Five, six, seven, you should feel the whole the stretch nicely down the side here. Ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're going to swap onto our other leg. Same thing again. 15, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, get nice and low, 14, 15. All right, we're back on our first leg. One, two, you want the knee almost touching the floor. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then we are going on to our second leg. Fifteen again. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We've got fifteen more left on each leg, and that's us done with curtsy lunges. So on to number four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then your last set of these on your second leg. One, two, get nice and low. Three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten, five more, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And that's us all warmed up now. So next we are going to go into the main part of our workout. We're going to start with crab walks. So I want you to grab a resistance band. Before we get started, I'll just demonstrate how to do them. So you want the band around your knees, just above your knee, and then you squat down, push your knees out against the band, then you are moving your legs out, side to side like that. So squat down, then pushing your knees out against the band, and then you want to move your feet in and out, side to side, pushing your knees out against the band the whole time. 
So we want 20 crab walks. Let's go. One, two, three, nice and low. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Have a little rest before we go on to our next set. When you're doing crowd walks, you want to stay in a nice low position. Make sure you're pushing your knees out against the band the whole time. So we'll have a few more seconds rest, and then we're going for another set of 20. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, keep pushing, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We've got one more set of them to do, so we have a few seconds rest before we get into it. We're going to grab some more. Hydration is key. challenge yourself, make it even lower, you can even bound around your ankles and your feet. Okay, let's get back into it, third set of crab walks, you want 20 reps, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well done guys, that's us done with crab walks. Next, we are moving on to good mornings and squats. So we're gonna do a super set with good mornings and squats. So, grab yourself a long band, and I'll show you how to do it before we get started. If you put the band around your neck, but place it on the bottom of your neck, like the top of your back where you would usually place a bar. And then you want to hook it under your feet. And I'll turn around so you can see the movement a bit better. But we are doing a good morning. And we're pushing against the resistance of the band. So this is a good morning. And we're going to follow it with squats. So you can see you're pushing up against the resistance of the band. So you've got the option of banding in different places when you're doing squats. You can band around your knees or you can band like I'm doing now. So let's get started. We want 10 good mornings followed by 10 squats. Let's go. One, two, three, feel the stretch. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and straight into the squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, guys. Take your band off, have a little bit of a rest, a few seconds. So we've got that twice more. Grab yourself some more while you're having a little rest. And then we'll get back into it. So when you're using bands to replace weights at home, you just want to think about where you're banding them. So, as I said before, you can band around your knees if you want. You can band around your neck. You can band both. If you use more bands, it's going to be harder. 
Think about finding your ankles. Just get creative and try some different things. You can do all the same exercises you would in the gym with the band. And then again, there's some exercises that you do with a band anyway, which are just band exercises that you wouldn't do with weight. So you want to try and include a range of all these different exercises in your training. But let's get back to it. Good morning and squat. Another 10 of each. Another superset. And let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then straight into your squat, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take your band off, have a little rest before our last super set. When you're doing your good mornings, you want to push your bum backwards and feel the stretch right down your glutes. And then you want to focus on using your glutes to pull yourself back up and squeeze at the top. But when you're doing your squat, you want to focus on keeping your back straight. So try not to do this and push your pelvis out, but you want to push your bum back so you've got a nice stretch on your glutes. Okay, so grab your bands again, guys. Let's get into it. Another 10 and 10. 10 good mornings, 10 squats. Get your bands on. And let's go. Nice full stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight in your squat. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, guys. That is that exercise done. So we'll take a few seconds of rest and then we will get into our next exercise. So our next exercise is going to be deadlifts with a band. So obviously deadlifts are called deadlifts because you're lifting the weight from a dead weight on the floor. But since we don't have weight, we're not going to do that, but we're going to follow the same movement pattern of the deadlift. So we're going to focus more on pushing against the resistance of the band rather than the deadlift part where you're lifting weight off the floor. So you want to grab a long band for this one and I'll show you how to do it before we get into it. So take your band, hold both, stand, both sides as if they're handles and then you want to stand on the middle of your band and then you're going to do the usual movement of a deadlift where you hinge at the hips and knees and push back up and hinge and push back up to move your glutes so you want to focus on the stretch of your glutes on the way down and really focus on pushing up against the resistance band so we're going to do 15 of these three times so let's get into the first set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Well done, we'll have a little break before our next set and then we'll be doing 15 two more times. So when you're training guys, the, what you want to focus on to see results is progressive overload. This means you're using more weight or more rest or more sets every session. So if you don't have weights at home, instead of increasing the weights, you can use different resistance bands. Get bands that are higher resistance and lower resistance. 
So if you're starting on the lower resistance, you can work your way up through to the higher ones. I'm just gonna get some water. Okay, so let's go for our second set of 15 band deadlifts. Get ready, get your band in place, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Well then guys, we've got one more set of that to do. We have a little rest first. So one of the most important one of the most important parts of glute training is feeling your glutes do the work. So you want to work on your mind muscle connection between your mind and your glutes. This really helps when you do an exercise that helps you use your glutes for the exercise instead of focusing more on your quads and hamstrings. If you really focus on thinking about using your glutes to do the exercise, you feel it a lot more in your glutes. And this is something that I try to do all the time in my training when I'm lifting heavy, if I'm doing lighter stuff. I always focus on thinking about my glutes to pull me through the movement or push me through the movement. So let's go guys, next set, 15 reps. Get your band in place, this is our last set of deadlifts. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Well done guys. That's the sun with deadlifts. So let's have a little break before our next exercise. Our next exercise we are going to do is squat with a side leg lift. So I love this exercise. I always do. I think it's really fun and enjoyable. There's some exercises where you just hate and some I quite enjoy. Usually what was that you hate are the ones that are really hard. So yeah, so we are doing what's with a side leg lift. So before we get started, I'll show you what they are. So you want a band around your knees for this one. And what we are doing is we are squatting down and lift up your leg to the side. So I'll turn around so you can see the movement a little bit better. But let's squat down and lift. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Do so you want to alternate the legs of your lift? And we're going to do 20. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Feel it there. Fourteen. Keep going, guys. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Let's have a little rest and get some water. Focus on different parts. 
So in my workouts and workout programs, I'll always make, to shoot, make sure to include a variety of different glute exercises that hit all three of the different muscles. So let's go with our second set. 15, this time 15, and then the next time we're going to 10. So we're dropping down the reps each time to so get a little bit of a reward. So let's go, 15, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well done, guys. We'll have a little rest, and then we've only got ten more to do. after that. So push through it guys, we're nearly done. So get your band back on, onto your knees, and we are doing 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done guys. Have a little rest before we move on to our finisher. So for our finisher guys, we are gonna finish off with a kickback superset. So we are gonna do normal kickbacks and then side kicks with a band on your knees. So I'll show it to you before we get started. So got a band around your knees. And if you find it easier to hold on to something, like a wall, the balance, that's okay. So we are going to do 10 kickbacks, normal kickbacks, this direction, followed by 10 side kicks, kicking your leg out to the side. So we're doing 10 kickbacks and then 10 side kicks and then moving on to the other leg for 10 and 10. And we're going to do this three times and this is our finisher. Push through the bin and it'll be worth it. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side kicks one, two, lift your leg nice and high, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Second leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a little rest. Now we fight two more times, and then we are done. So when you're doing this, the leg that's on the floor, make sure you're keeping your knee in a straight line and don't let it collapse in. Because this is going to focus on this leg a little bit as well, at the same time because you're keeping your knee straight. You're pushing out against the resistance of the band. Okay, so let's go guys. Another 10, one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten on side, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, we'll have a little bit of a rest, not too much before our last set, and then we are done. You want to make sure when you do your kickback, you're really thinking about using your glutes and then squeezing at the top. It should be able to feel your glutes doing the work. So let's go, guys. Last set, last set. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and your last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done guys, that's us done. I don't know about you but I can definitely feel my glutes feeling. That was such a good workout, I hope you enjoyed it guys. If you did, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, put in the comments any questions or any workouts you want me to do. But make sure to subscribe to my channel, I'll be posting weekly workouts. So follow along with me whenever you can and let's do this together. Well done guys.